Hi guys, welcome to No Belay Makeup, where I do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually with a cosplay twist, and this is proof that I can be inspired by anything, including fruit. <laughs> And I don't know how to use my camera. Go figure. Alright, so I have powder on my face not because I have a drug problem, but because I was baking. I don't do that very often. Go figure. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyes. This will help my eyeshadows last a bit longer, stay more vibrant, and give them something to kind of hold on to so they don't leave me halfway through the day. Now for this one in particular, I want my green neonness to be extra vibrant, so I'm going to apply a white base on the lid where I'm going to be putting that, that green vibrant awesomeness on, if that makes any sense. Now if you don't know what baking is, I'll have it linked up in the uh, cards or down in the description if you guys want to see that video. Now once I have my white base basically put where I want, I'm going to go in with my finger just to blend everything out a little bit more. And my camera is going to be out of focus because that is how we roll here, apparently. So just uh, not so much smear, but kind of pat um, your finger on top of the white. And then I'm going to go in with a neon um, green eyeshadow. This is from the Sleek Acid Palette, and I love that palette so much. And we're just going to apply this all over the lid. If it gets in your inner corner, that's fine because I'm 99% sure that when I recorded this, that was the point. And then we're going to go in with, which really, hindsight says I should have done this before, but whatever. I'm going to go in with uh, kind of a transition shade. It's almost like a beige-ish not really kind of color. Honestly, in the pan it looks like cafe con leche, if anybody knows what that is. Most of you should know what this is. Um, and we're going to put this in the crease, so that way when I put in the darker green it kind of has something to help it slide a little bit more. Then I'm going to go into the actual crease with a darker green. I'm going to start closer to the outer corner and then kind of blend it in. And just like any time you're going to use a darker shade, you kind of want to start with a little bit, add a little bit more, and kind of blend it and then work your way up like that. Just because if you do it like all gung-ho from the start and then it gets a little bit harder to manipulate the shadow the way you want it to if you know what I mean it's a lot easier to add than it is to try to take away once it's already there and then I'm gonna go on the lower lash line with more of a kind of like a warmer brown and this is almost it's like a tiny 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 angled brush And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that green just to have that inner corner pop a little bit more. And with some liquid liner, we're going to line our eyes. Does a kiwi have a cat eye? No. But it should. <laughs> I swear I'm crazy. Um, but <laughs> My tip for applying um, eyeliner is to start with a little, 
build, no I'm kidding, um, is just to start with the bottom line and then connect the dots basically. And speaking of dots, I'm going to be applying a couple on the inner corner and then inner corner on the lower part of my eye and then just a few more on the upper lid. Kind of like a gradient almost. It's going to be more intense closer to the inner corner and kind of fade as it goes closer up the eye. Like this! Or something like that. The hard part is figuring out when you are even enough. And then I'm going to apply some false lashes. This is probably the best application of false lashes I have done and there is no glue on them. Go figure. Uh, but once your falsies are on, these are really just to give me a little bit more length. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. For some reason, every time I apply um, eyeshadow, my eyelashes turn super super pale so this kind of helps bring them back to their natural state and when you put false lashes on it also kind of helps blend them together fun tip and then I'm gonna go in with a this is basically like a chocolate kind of mocha looking color it's not super dark um, actually this is called molasses not necessarily the color of molasses, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> I like it though, and it kind of goes with this look. It doesn't overpower it, just because we do have that bright, bright green. kind of goes with it. So that is the finished look. So I hope you guys liked it. I know I had fun doing it. If you guys do like these tutorials, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next, and let me know in the comments what fruit I should do a video on next. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!